Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share the video. Today I'm going to do a little quick uh, review of a half helmet that I got. The full face helmet is great for cold weather, rain, and all that good stuff. But when it gets hot, it's been killing me. Especially during moto vlogs. That's why you've been seeing me uh, use a half helmet or just a half lid and stuff like that. And I just got sent this. It's a Raider and it's a half. And it actually does come with a visor, but I took it off because I think it looks quirky. Uh, but it has some great padding inside. I did convert it from a D-ring into a regular uh, click, quick click. Uh, it's like eight bucks on Amazon for this clicker. Uh, as you can see, it used to be the D-ring, but it's a pretty decent helmet. Uh, I like it. But uh, what I like about it, you know, I wish I could have got uh, just a matte instead of this high gloss type of deal because I'm not usually into the high gloss type of stuff. But it works pretty good, man. The Raider is a pretty good helmet. And it's uh, even better is it's not that much money. So if you're in the market, I'll actually put the link in the description box for you. It's a pretty good sell, man. I think it's like 35, 40 bucks and uh, it's the old style half. And it really does good for me. It's kept me cool. Uh, it, the only thing it don't have is vents on it. You know, for that kind of money, what do you expect? You know what I mean? But it is uh, DOT. And of course I wear a large and it's funny. With my half lids and all that stuff, I actually wear a medium. Where it is. Helmets like this and my full facers, those are large. So check it out, man. Hit the description box and uh, read the reviews and stuff. Again, I'd recommend getting the quick release. It's like eight bucks again from Amazon. Me, I cannot freaking stand D-ring stuff, man. It's just too much a hassle, takes too long to get off. And if it's not done right, it sucks. Uh, at least with the, uh, the quick one, and it's boom, done, all over the place. Okay, here's the visor I was telling you about. Looks pretty gay, don't it? <laughs> but other than that, that's how I wear it. Uh, another thing people have been asking me, uh, I actually got sent, uh, I do a lot of reviews, so these companies send them out to me. Here's my half lid. This is the Beanie Type DOT. And this thing sits low, man. You don't look like a mushroom head on it. <laughs> I love it. The padding's great. The other one I'm disappointed in, though, I was said uh, this one claims to be DOT. See? Claims to be DOT. But there is actually no padding in this German-style helmet. Sorry to the company, but come on, man. Don't uh, try to go out there and sell your product as DOT because there's a lot of new riders out there that don't understand the DOT ratings and they just say hey DOT sticker okay it should be good but could you imagine hitting the pavement with this thing there's not even what is there a half an inch of padding in this thing other than that it's all foam underneath and it feels just cheaply made man you know you're sitting this is for a bicycle. This ain't for no motorcycle, okay? So, again, I'll put this one in the description box. You can see what I'm talking about. Look at the, you know, reviews. But this is nothing more than a no novelty uh, helmet. Uh, if you're going to go with anything, again, go with uh, the half. You know, it's a good one, the Raider. And then the half lid. The half lid I really enjoy. The only thing, uh, it's got the quick uh, connect things again. This came with this helmet. You know, I think, uh, how much was this? Like 50 bucks uh, they have it listed as. So, anything I get has to have quick kinetic. Again, I hate D-ring. So, go to the description box. Click on the link. Go to uh, their descriptions and tell me what you think. Are they being honest with new riders? Are they being honest with uh, motorcyclists worldwide? 
or is it just a scam with some of these? So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.